Today we are going to talk about the role of ammonia in permanent hair colors. And many people talk about the ammonia is causing allergy and ammonia is not good. So that's why most of the companies are driven by the consumer markets. And they decided uh, why not to find the ways because people don't like the ammonia smell. And, uh, but they were not looking at that, how much damage it does incur by using the ammonia. Ammonia can cause sensitivity, but it's not that bad. Because the reason in permanent hair color, you need to open the outer layer of the hair to get the color in into the cortex. Because the permanent color get deposited into the cortex. If the outer layer is not open, the color can't go in for a permanent hair color. So to do that, the hair is acidic and the ammonia is basic. It's more toward the alkaline side. When the alkalinity or the pH of the hair is raised, the windows of the hair, which is the outer cuticle layer, get open and then the hair color get in and then it get deposited. But what about if we don't have to use the ammonia? then we have to use some relatives of ammonia. We have to have the alkalinity to open the windows. For that, people call it ammonia free. But it is ammonia sister or brother, it's called ethanolamines. Okay, ethanolamines sometimes might not cause much allergies as people are more sensitive to the ammonia. But ethanolamine itself is alcohol based and it is very drying to the hair and very damaging too. So that's why they add oils into it. And they find a way to how to add the oils, so which is good for the hair. But at the end, if we are looking to really color the totally gray hair, there is nothing better than the ammonia. But if we are looking for the other shades, we'll be okay with the ammonia free. So it's all about the choice, but if somebody is allergic to ammonia, then only choose for the ethanolamine and other things, but other things are more drying even to the hair. So it's not that the journal consensus because it does smell. So the smell was the basic reason the consumers, I didn't, we didn't like that. But at the end, there's not much difference between the ethanolamine and the ammonia. Both are alkaline raise the pH, open the window of the hair to get the color in. So ammonia is not more damaging at all. But if you are sensitive to ammonia, please use ethanolamine based, oil based, opening the outer cuticle and it might not cause as much allergy to you, but both of them are not very toxic. So both of them are okay to use. So your take should be that if you are allergic to ammonia then switch otherwise ammonia for sure do a better hair, hair color job thank you very much for listening and if you have any question please please leave in the comments i would love to answer those questions thank you very very much